Verse 17, Paul says, faith comes by hearing. Faith is necessary. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. All right, so faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. The only way for faith to grow up in the heart is through what? Through hearing. And hearing only comes how? By the word of Christ. You see, the preached word of the gospel has a strange, shall we say, life-giving power to it. The word of God tells you not only what you are commanded to do, the word of God also gives you the power to do it. We compare it to the words of Jesus when he would do a miracle and he would say to somebody who was lame, you know, rise, take up your bed and walk. That's a command. But in that command is not just something to obey. In that command, if you believe it, is also the power to obey it. So the lame person is hearing the command, but Jesus is also, his words are giving them the strength to do what he is telling them to do. Here's the analogy that I use when it comes to preaching the gospel. We say that when you preach the gospel, I, I, I've told you, it's like you walk up behind somebody who's, say they're on top of a 30-story building and they are clinically insane and they think they're a bird. And because they think they're a bird, they think they can fly. And you know they're about to jump to their death. And so you go up behind them and you just reach out and you say, hey man, don't do this. Look, come back down with me. Don't jump. Come with me. Now, they're insane. Every single time that you give them that free choice, what are they going to choose? Every single time they're going to choose to jump. Why? Because they think they're a bird. Now, let's say that, I know it doesn't work like this, but let's say that you had some antidote, you know, in a, uh, a vial, and you could give them a shot that would restore their sanity. So as you are telling them to come back down, you reach out, and you stick them with a the needle, and you put the, the sanity serum in, and all of a sudden they regain their, their sanity. And you offer them the same choice. Hey, man, don't do this. Come back down with me. Don't jump to your death. Come with me to safety. Now their sanity has been restored. Now what are they going to do every single time? They're going to choose to come back down with you. You didn't ask the question differently, right? You didn't offer better arguments. It's the exact same invitation. You just were able to restore their sanity before you did it. And now the command actually makes sense to them. And that's what Paul explains the word of Christ does. Faith comes by hearing. In order to have faith grow up in your heart, you got to hear the word of Christ. Without the preached word of God, there can be no faith.